What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a spectacular weekend. We are back for another round of story time. So I started this series story time um, talking to you about sort of like my different experiences within the theater industry and today I figured I'd share with you probably something that a lot of people that I know don't know about me. So today's story is going to talk about how I turned down a national tour to go to college. Um, but before we go into the story, please don't forget to subscribe because it'll really support my channel and we will go ahead and talk about how I turned down a national tour to go to college. Okay, so the story begins 2010, <laughs> 2010, I am graduating from high school and I was currently doing, I think it was high school musical. I was doing high school musical. Yes. I was doing High School Musical at Plays in the Park in New Jersey, which is a community theater in New Jersey. They do big summer shows. Um, I've, I've done shows there since I was like 14. Um, they're an amazing organization. They're almost like an equity house, except they're funded by the county, so they can't actually be in the union. Um, but they give you a really good sense of what it is like to work on a professional show. So I was doing High School Musical there, and my friend, Amanda, who was playing Sharpay at the time, said um, that she was going to go audition for the National Tour of Legally Blonde, the musical. I had never been to an audition. Um, that's all I'll say. I've never been to an audition. And I was like, I don't know. Uh, I've never been. I'm not really prepared. She was like, just come with me. Just come with me. So the day comes. We're going to go to the, I guess it was an open call. I like can't even remember. I guess it was an open call. And then she called me and she was like, hey, you know what? I actually can't go. I was already ready to go, so my dad drove me into the city. This was before I was commuting into the city by myself. And I went, and it was like the normal open call that you would experience last year in March. Tons of girls, tons of blonde girls, you know, Legally Blonde, it's like a, a female heavy show, so there were just girls everywhere. I didn't understand how to sign up. I didn't I didn't know anything. I didn't know anything. Um, and the first thing we did was we danced. And I think we learned the um, shake, 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 woo combination. And I went, I, and it's so funny to look back at like what you wore. I went in and I was wearing a pink sports bra, bright pink shorts. This is when I was like super comfortable in my body. Um, and I had a bright yellow sweatshirt from Victoria's Secret that I had tied around my waist and sneakers. And we go in, we do the number, and I was like so crazy full out, like crazy full out looking back. And the choreographer stopped and he was like, hey, can you come out? Called me out to the center. And he was like, can you guys just watch her do it? Her energy is what we're really looking for. And so that's, I want you to all do it like her when we go into our small group. So I did it full out in front of everybody in the room. And I, and I just, I, it's so funny to look back. I remember the like, clickiness of the room and like I did Legally Blonde here and I did Legally Blonde there and like this show I did that show I did which is like what we do now like that's what I do now because I'm part of the industry but like I remember I was so intimidated and so scared and like wanting so badly to prove myself to this like group of girls and the casting director and this choreographer so we uh so we did the, the combination and then it was one of those where you don't, you have to wait all day to hear if you were staying. So we waited all day to hear if we were staying and finally they were like, great, this group of ladies, <clears throat> can you come back tomorrow? You're going to sing and read. And they gave us sides to sing and read. Meanwhile, my dad was outside in the car the entire time or he like parked the car and waited for me the entire time. So I come downstairs and he's like, what happened? He wanted a full play by play. And I was like, I got a call back. I have to like learn all these sides and we're singing and reading tomorrow. Um, I had to learn the sides for Chutney, which is like she's on trial at the end of the show, and Vivian, the Vivian cover. So the really high, like, legally blonde, the big high G, I guess she's belting. Um, again, at that point, like, I was committed to going to college. Uh, at that point, I wanted to go to college for theater and for singing and for acting. I wouldn't say that I was at my best at that point. Like, I had a lot of training that I needed to do vocally and with acting. Um, so I went home, I called my, uh, coach and we, that night we went and we sort of like did the best that we could with the material that I had at the time. Uh, I, I, I couldn't hit a high G at that point. I couldn't hit a high G healthily. 
Uh, so we figured out a way to sort of just like scrape it out and, you know, pucker up and, and do it. So the next day I came back and this, again, it's so funny to look back. I came back and I was in full, like I was in a suit. Like I came in in a suit for Vivian and they had me read again this was at pearl they had me read the chutney stuff and i and it's funny i walked in and they were like wow you look like a vivian and i was like yeah funny i don't know that i would go in in a suit this time i would go in as emily and i because you're reading for two different parts but listen this is what this is what i did and like i said with my craziest audition story sometimes you do the craziest things and you get the gig so i went in i read for chutney i sang oh i'm sorry i sang for the um the part where it's uh, uh, pretty impressive, good to know, and it's I did the that part I had to sing as well, and then they were like, "Great, can you sing Vivian?" But we just want we just want to, great, can you sing for Vivian? But we just want to hear you do the end. And I was like, okay, and I literally like I was like I took a deep breath and I was like Emily, this is it, just hit the high note. And like when I tell you it's the best I ever sounded at that time, like it was. It was pretty great. It was pretty spectacular. I don't know at that time I that I could ever hit it again, but I did what I did. And uh, yeah. And then I didn't hear anything for a couple days. We were in the middle of performances at High School Musical in the park. We were doing it every night. I sort of like let it go. And then I get a phone call on my cell phone. I wake up to a voice message on my cell phone and I listen to the voice message and I remember this so clearly. I'm sitting in my living room and I was screaming. They were like, hi, Emily, we're calling to let you know that we'd like to offer you the part of Swing um, for the national tour of Legally Blonde the Musical, and you'll cover all these different roles. Um, they sort of like went through all the other information. They were like, give us a call so we can discuss. And I was like screaming, running around my house. My dad was crying. My sister was crying. Everyone was crying. I uh, uh, told everybody, and <laughs> that's the other thing, like, they tell you not to tell people about stuff. I mean, maybe that's a thing, but I tend to not say anything until I know for sure that the show that I'm going to do that I booked is happening. Um, I told everybody it was a whole thing before I even talked to them. And then I called them, and they sort of gave me, like, the lay of the land. And the thing is with non-unions, um, the main thing about non-union tours, like, year-long non-union tours is that you don't get health insurance, you don't get equity points, and you don't get pension. That being said, there are some first national tours of Broadway shows that go out on union that are worth doing for the credit, for the working with the team. You know, it's so hard to, like, be specific about what, what show to take and what not to take. I personally think that it's really important if you're going on tour for a year that it, it needs to be equity because... A, you're out of the city, casting directors won't know you, you're not making that much money, non-unions, they don't make that much money, um, and I, you know, this is all information that I have based on my experience of doing non-union equity tours, you know, it's, I've, I've got a full perspective now, when I was graduating high school, I had no idea, I, I knew nothing, I knew nothing, and so they explained to me the salary, they explained to me, um, the role of a swing, and they explained to me um, just like all of that kind of stuff. And at that point, I was already accepted to Muhlenberg College, so I would have had to defer. And I sat down, and it was the hardest decision that I've ever made. But I was like, the first thing that came to mind was, I don't know that I want to be a swing. Now, let me say something. Swings are the reason that shows function. Swings are spectacular. Swings are honestly probably more talented than everybody else because they cover they could cover up to like 10 roles um they're saviors and i respect i highly respect every single swing that i've worked with i think that i could be a swing i've got the brain for a swing um i don't know that i could deal with the stress and there's something in me that wants to be on stage every night and i think that you know you have to make that decision for yourself um, my really good friend Maria Briggs is a swing. She did five Broadway shows this season, this past season, and she's a star and she's stellar. And I am so proud of her. I haven't talked to her about her experience, whether or not she likes being a swing or not. But there are spectacular swings on Broadway, and and if that's your gig, go for that gig. But I remember, like my first like gut feeling was like I really just want to be on stage every night, and I don't know that I could go on the road and not know when I'm going on or not ever go on it. Now, listen, if you go on tour, you're going on as a swing all the time. I didn't know that I was really young and I didn't know anything. So like, 
in my mind, I was going to go on tour for a year and not perform at all. That was my sort of like idea, like what I knew about the industry. So that was the first gut reaction. The second gut reaction was I really wanted to go to college. I really wanted to have a college experience. I didn't want to be late in that college experience. Um, I wanted to like be away from home. So I had to decide whether or not to go to college. And the third thing was um, like salary and that kind of stuff. It really wasn't much money. I mean, I wasn't making money anyway because I was gonna go to school, but I don't know. There was like, there were all these things in me that I was like, I don't know if this is the right timing um, for me. And what ended up happening is I ended up turning it down and I went to college and I went to Muhlenberg College for four years and I don't regret it for a second. And I tell this to a lot of people that I talk to that are thinking about going to college or um, people who are in college. I, you can make whatever decision you want. I went to, I went to a liberal arts school because I didn't want to go to a BFA and just learn theater. I am interested in so many things. I'm interested in history. I'm interested in philosophy. I'm interested in, clearly I'm doing mental health counseling. Um, I wanted to learn about the business of theater. Um, I, I, I want to be a well-rounded, educated person <clears throat> with theater as my like main focus of like a career that I wanted to pursue. But um, so I decided to go to college and I double majored. I was uh, a double major in theater and business with my concentrations being acting and arts administration because I one day want to produce and direct and choreograph and run my own business. That's sort of like what I want to do um, when I couldn't perform anymore. So um, yeah, I don't regret it for a second. And I, it's, I, I, I look back sometimes and I'm like, I wonder where I'd be if I took that tour because um, I know some people who did take that tour. Um, and so yeah, that's sort of my experience of <clears throat> My first ever audition that I ever went to ever in my career, I booked the tour and I ended up turning it down to go to college and have that college experience. And I think it's really important. You have to make that decision for yourself. I can't tell you, you should definitely go to school and turn down a tour. Um, it's, it's all about like what you want and what your goals are. And I don't think that four years of school um, made a difference or made an impact in my success. Um, I, when I graduated, I booked shows right away. I booked tours. I booked off Broadway. I hopefully one day will book Broadway if it ever comes back. And I, I think that my education is one of the reasons that I, my training is so, um, ingrained in me. I, I, I learned so much at school about myself. I also feel like college is the time where you grow into who you are. Um, and I know that there's a lot of tours in which people don't go to college and so they sort of grow up on the tour, which can be a little difficult, right? Because you're away from home, but you're performing. I don't know. It's, it's, there's, you, there's a lot of life that happens um, in college. And so I, I'm very grateful for, for going to college and waiting um, to, to pursue this career in this industry. Um, yeah, that's sort of my story and experience I honestly don't know that people really know that about me everybody that I went to college knew that about me because apparently somebody found out that I turned down the tour and then I became the girl known as oh she turned down a national tour to come to school which <laughs> is stupid but yeah so that's sort of my story time of turning down a tour to go to school um, if you have any questions about that experience, about my school that I went to, about the decision, I mean, clearly I explained the decision of why I turned down the tour to go to school, um, leave a comment below. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Before you go, please don't forget to subscribe because it'll really support my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video or the next story time.